But as the whispers grew louder and louder, a sense of anger began to simmer within her. What pushed Ngozi over the edge was when a group of villagers openly accused her of causing a string of mysterious events that had recently occurred in the village. They claimed that her presence was a sign of misfortune and demanded that she leave before more harm befell them. Once upon a time, in the heart of an African village, there lived a woman named Ngozi. She had an hair of mystery about her, often seen collecting herbs in the woods and muttering to herself as she concocted remedies for the villagers' ailments. However, a lonely nature and different practices led many to brand her as a witch. Despite the villagers' fear and suspicion, Ungozi was anything but wicked. She possessed a deep understanding of nature's remedies and had a compassionate heart. Yet, the rumors continued and soon whispers of her supposed dark powers echoed through the cobblestone streets. One fateful day, a terrible illness struck the village, leaving many bedridden and desperate for help. With no cure in sight, the villagers turned to Ungozi as their last option, reluctantly seeking a help. Despite their previous mistrust, they had no other choice but begged her for assistance. Without delay, Ngozi arrives into action, tirelessly brewing potions and administering treatment day and night. Her efforts did not go unnoticed, and slowly but surely, the villagers began to realize the error of their ways. They saw the kindness in her actions and the genuine desire to help those in need. As days passed, the illness disappeared and the village returned to its former calmness. In no time, Ngozi reputation flourished and the villagers came to rely on her, not only for her healing skills, but also for her wisdom and guidance. They sought a counsel in matters both boring and mystical, knowing that her insight was invaluable. Despite her newfound acceptance, Ungozi remained humbled, never seeking recognition or praise for her deeds. Instead, she continued a lonely existence Content in the knowledge that she had made a difference in the lives of those around her. However, there were still whispers of her past, reminders of the fear and misunderstanding that had once shrouded her. But Ungozi paid them no mind, for she knew who she was, and that was all that mattered. However, as time passed, she began to notice a shift in their attitude, despite their initial gratitude. Some villagers started to revert to their old ways, whispering behind her back and casting suspicious glances at her. They seemed to forget the lesson they had learned during the crisis and again viewed her with fear distrust. At first, Ngozi tried to brush off their behavior, understanding that change takes time and old habits die hard. But as the whispers grew louder and louder, a sense of anger began to simmer within her. What pushed Ngozi over the edge was when a group of villagers openly accused her of causing a string of mysterious events 
that had recently occurred in the village. They claimed that her presence was a sign of misfortune and demanded that she leave before more harm befell them. Feeling unjustly accused and betrayed by those she had helped, Ungozi anger fled up like a tempest. She confronted the villagers, releasing a torrent of righteous fury as she defended her honor and proclaimed her innocence. But even as she stood her ground, the villagers remained unmoved, their fear blinding them to reason. In the end, Ngozi realized that despite her best effort, some people would always see her as a threat, no matter how many lives she saved or how much good she did. Heartbroken and disappointed, Ngozi made the difficult decision to leave the village behind knowing that she could no longer call it a home. With tears in her eyes and bitterness in her heart, she disappeared into the woods, leaving behind only memories of the woman who had once been hailed as a hero, but was now condemned as a witch once more. In the days following Ungozi's departure, a series of calamities befell the village, leaving its residents desperate for help once more. Crops withered in the fields, livestock fell ill, and strange illnesses plagued the villagers, kicking against all traditional remedies. As the situation grew disastrous, the villagers realized the folly of their actions in driving Ngozi away. With no one else to turn to, they reluctantly acknowledged that they needed our expertise to overcome the crisis that now trended their way of life. Moved by desperation, a small group of villagers set out to the wilderness in search of Ngozi, their hearts heavy with regret for their past actions. Through every forest and treacherous terrain, they journeyed guided by the determination to right the wrongs they had committed. After days of searching, they finally found Ungozi in a deep narrow valley where she had sought solace amidst the trees and streams. Though surprised by their sudden appearance, Ungozi listened as they pleaded for her return. Recounting the hardship that had befallen the village in her absence, despite the pain of betrayal still lingering in her heart, Ngozi could not turn back on those in need. With a heavy sigh and a heavy smile, she agreed to accompany them back to the village, knowing that her skills were their best hope for survival. Upon her return, Ngozi wasted no time in springing into action, utilizing a knowledge of herbs and magic to heal the land and its people. With each passing day, the village began to flourish once more, the scars of their past mistakes slowly fading into memory. Through their trials and tribulation, the villagers learned a valuable lesson about the consequences of their prejudice and the power of forgiveness. And as they look upon Ungozi with newfound respect and gratitude, they vow to never again let fear and ignorance cloud their judgment. The once feared witch was now hailed as a hero, revered for her selfless and dedication to the community. Through her actions, Ungozi had proven that appearance can be deceiving and that true magic lies in compassion and goodwill. And from that day forward, the villagers saw Ngozi not as a witch, but as a wise woman whose heart was as pure as the healing remedies she brewed. The moral lesson of this story is that Appearances can be deceiving and prejudice can lead to grave consequences. The tale of Ungozi 
remind us to approach others with empathy and open-mindedness, for it is only through acceptance and cooperation that we can build a true harmonious community.